Battle Pass. It's a scary word that's dominated games like Black Ops 4, Fortnite, and Apex Legends, and it's soon going to dominate Destiny 2, because Bungie, contrary to what other people are doing, what they usually do, is actually going with the flow this time. They are getting a Battle Pass, and unfortunately, it could either mean the best or the worst thing for Destiny. It depends on how Bungie rolls it out. And so in this video, we're going to look at how they roll it out, what it is, and I'm going to give you guys my own opinions on it, because uh, I play a lot of Fortnite and I play a lot of Apex Legends, and so I have a, a good idea of how I think this is actually going to roll out in Destiny. And so, let's get started. Bungie is starting us off with four battle passes, each with a hundred tiers. And this is going to be like the first four months or first eight months of the next Shadowkeep update. And so basically, you purchase each battle pass for $10 each. And Bungie's really confident if they're pushing out four of them right away. And so starting with the Season of the Undying, which is the first, what the first, they call the first battle pass. Which launches as part of the $40 Shadowkeep expansion. And so if you bought Shadowkeep, you're actually getting the first Battle Pass free because Bungie's trying to dangle a carrot in front of you, basically, and say, hey, you know, we'll give it the first Battle Pass to you free, but you got to buy the rest of them. Unless you bought the deluxe version of the DLC, you got the rest of them already, and you're already set, and you're already hyped for it, I guess. And so you're now going to be on a season rank level, and it's going to look exactly like the Battle Pass in Fortnite. You have, you know, Tier 1, Tier 2. But in Destiny's case, they call it the season rank because they want to be different. You can increase your rank through XP and you'll regularly get new drops that include two exotic weapons, new finishers, emotes, and armor. You'll get more rewards faster if you pay in. So pay in is by actually buying like the battle pass. You pay into it. And so you'll get, much, you'll get everything faster, basically. It's just like buying a Fortnite battle pass. You get everything super slow or you get like the 50% XP boost. That gives you everything so much faster. And so you'll get an exotic weapon on your tier 1 if you actually pay into it. But if you're a free user, you'll actually get the exotic weapon on like tier 30 or something. So it's not that bad, but it is kind of strange. The system doesn't sound too different from Destiny 2's old seasonal engram system. Where you guys used to, you know, after you hit the cap of your level, you would just do random stuff. And then you got automatically get like a year or best of year 2 engram. And then you would redeem that for some kind of Eververse store item, which was randomly rolled and it didn't always turn out well. But that's what it sounds like this system is going to be looking towards. There's 100 levels to earn in each season pass, Smith wrote. And Bungie is planning to let you buy ranks towards the end of the season if you're lagging behind and want to catch up on some rewards. Now this is a little bit different from Apex Legends and everything else because the people who grind the hardest at the start are now actually going to be the ones who complete the battle pass first and make the YouTube video describing how everything in the battle pass actually looks. And so you can't just buy everything right away as you see like Ninja and Musalk and those YouTubers do and just show it off to all the players on day one. It's not going to work that way. You can only do it in the first or the final seasons, weeks of the season. And so here's the rundown Smith provided about the free and premium tracks and shadow keep in the season of the Undying. The premium saddle season pass includes a new seasonal activity, the Vex Offensive, which includes four legendary weapon drops, additional weekly and daily bounties, and additional weekly challenges with powerful rewards. And so that's just a bunch of weekly stuff that's going to be pretty cool for that whatever game mode the Vex Offensive is. There's a new weapon quest for an exotic bow, Leviathan's Breath, which looks pretty cool if you guys have seen images of that. There's a new exotic hand cannon, Ariana's Vow. Which, uh, I'm all for exotic hand cannons. I love hand cannons, even though a lot of people are like, wow, there's way too many hand cannons or way too many exotic hand cannons. And yeah, I admit they are. They pretty much outnumber any kind of other exotic gun, like 3 to 1 at this point. It's kind of insane. There's going to be three seasonal legendary armor sets, one for each class. All sets are unlock at rank 1 at the paid armor of the paid class. And so that's basically like Fortnite giving you, like, the two skins with like the upgradable perks at the very start of their season pass or their battle pass if you buy it right away. Destiny is pretty much doing the same thing. They're copying them pretty much word for word on this. They really want a piece of the pie that Fortnite has. Because if you looked at the top 20 games in the world right now, Fortnite is still number 6. And Minecraft and the others are like top 4. And so you guys can go on and there are 3 universal ornament armor sets. And so, wow, is that six armor sets in total in the premium battle pass? That's gonna... Oh, I guess they just mean... 
uh, six in for all classes, and so that's only going to be two for each class. Okay. And then there's going to be an exotic weapon ornament for Ariana's Vow, and two legendary weapon ornaments, a new finisher, an exotic emote, an exotic ship, and everything on the free tier, but you get it everything quicker. And so, I mean, that's cool and all. I'll just, uh, I'll save my opinions for the end, but let's go over what the free battle pass includes. You get Ariana's Vow, which is an exotic hand cannon we got earlier, but you get at, you get it at rank 35 in the free pass. You get three seasonal legendary armor sets, but you get them at first 25 ranks, and so you're just getting everything a lot slower. And you get to collect a complete set during the first free 25 ranks of the free track. You get two legendary weapons, you get the best of year two bright engrams, and you get glimmer and upgrade modules. Now all players, just like not even just the premium and the free pass, all players who actually play during Shadowkeep will get a patrol, the Minoon destination, the opening mission of Shadowkeep, two new strikes, crucible updates, two returning PvP maps from Destiny 1, Widow's Court and Twilight Gap, Elimination and Crucible Labs, which is found to be kinda cool, Armor 2.0 build customization, Eye of the Gate Lord seasonal artifact, new finishers, two new pinnacle weapons, one for Gambit and one for Crucible. And so that's the stuff all players get. This is like the new light players. If you guys just play without buying a single DLC, you, you still get access to all of those things. And so that's pretty cool. And now for my uh, my critiques, or critiques, I'm not sure how to say that word, on the battle pass. Now Fortnite has done this before and they've actually pulled it off really, really well. Like this was first seen, I believe, in Fortnite because they were the ones who basically made it the most popular thing. They made it awesome. Uh, back to the carrot on the stick analogy, if you've ever played Minecraft and you get the stick and you get the carrot and you put the carrot on the stick and then you ride a pig, you can dangle the carrot on the stick in front of the pig for forever and just guide the pig around controlling its movements and everything because that's what they do. They put something really really cool as like a tier 100 battle pass skin in Fortnite or they'll probably do the same thing in Destiny 2 and just dangle the carrot in front of you or dangle whatever thing you really want super dad and you just keep striving for it all the way. And uh, the reason I don't think this is gonna actually going to work for Destiny is because Bungie has a history of XP throttling. You guys saw all the big, you know, scandal that happened when people discovered that their XP was actually being throttled by Bungie in order to make gate players actually play the game longer. And so I don't think Bungie's actually going to do this one very fair either. They're probably going to pull the same kind of stuff they do. Like you could probably do like all the missions at Shadow Keep and get all the XP, but I guarantee you will only be at rank 50 or something like that. Actually, to get to rank 100, you'll probably have to do a bunch of matches of Crucible, a bunch of Strikes, and a bunch of matches of Gambit. And to be honest, I don't think Crucible or Gambit is in a really good place right now. Like, neither of them are in a good place. And so I don't think that's going to be the most fun thing unless you're just a super grinder in order to get all these things done. I don't think Bungie's going to pull this off that well. Because, again, Fortnite, they were giving away entire exclusive skins. Destiny, I mean, Destiny, we never really grinded for that you know, that one helmet, unless it's it has exotic perks, and they're really not doing that this time. They're just giving away armor sets that, I mean, they look cool, but are you going to grind for them? I don't think so. That's the thing. These armor sets are cool looking, but they're not worth the grind. They don't have any cool, like, armor or exotic perks, and that's what players really like in Destiny. They like things that change their gameplay. Fortnite, yeah, it's all about looking the part, but in Destiny, nobody cares about what you look the part, because... Usually you don't even see other people's like armor in Destiny. Like you see it, like, you see them flaunted around, but it's not like, hey, you know, I'm jealous. I really want that armor set. Destiny just doesn't have the same attention to detail in their armor sets that people go around saying, hey, I want that skin. And so I don't think the armor sets and anything like that inside of the battle pass is gonna work. I think what they're doing with exotic hand cannons and exotic engrams that's gonna work because people are gonna want those exotic guns. But again, I also hate that system because I love exotic quests. I love it when we had the last word and we had to go and do our own exotic mission and you know go and shoot that guy in the face with the last word. That was so cool to me. I love it when we had exotic quests for like the uh, Outbreak Prime and we had to sh and I'm talking about like Destiny 1 or Destiny 2 here and we had to go on our own separate mission and our own separate quest. That was cool to me. Now this, putting an exotic gun at the end of the season pass just for XP rewards and nothing else, there's no quest or anything, that's not cool to me. I don't like that system. 
I don't think it's going to play out well. But uh, that's just my two cents. That's just how the battle pass is going to work. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys have any differing views from me, feel free to post about it in the comments. I'll read your comments. I'll reply to them. I love hearing other feedback. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you Guardian Legends in the next one.